Hi, I'm Austin Carson, 2017 Star Chefs Colorado Rising Star. We're here at Mizuna in Denver, Colorado. And today, with a little help from our Vitamix Vita Prep 3 and the new aerating container, we're gonna make an eggnog milkshake. So let's get back behind the bar. Here at Mizuna, we actually make eggnog uh, six or eight months in advance. Basically what we're gonna do is make a traditional eggnog recipe using the aerating container, and we're gonna make a little bit of uh, an eggnog milkshake. So the benefit of the disc inside the aerating container, I can add egg yolk and sugar and emulsify the two together without basically over whipping the eggs or scrambling the eggs. And sugar. Whenever you whip sugar and eggs together, you look for what's called a ribbon uh, or a ribbony texture. Uh, we can actually get that in the aerating container, so once it's completely emulsified, it'll be this really beautiful golden yellow color. Really, really uniform consistency. The sugar granules have dissolved uh, in with the eggs. I mean, that was a matter of seconds. Really nice and completely emulsified, basically ice cream base. After the eggs and sugar have been brought together, the next step is to bring together the dairy. So each one is a third of a cup. Start with uh, skim milk, half and half, and heavy whipping cream. Next up, obviously, is the alcohol. This is being built to age, so we're actually making this the last week in April to serve in December. Uh, all of this will go into a glass container and into the refrigerator, and after about two weeks, everything will have come together, um, and a lot of that alcohol will have smoothed out. We are using three different alcohols in this eggnog. We're gonna start with brandy, so this is cognac, uh, VSOP. Second is American bourbon, and this is in equal parts, a third of a cup each and we'll finish with a really nice aged Jamaican overproof rum. Um, after that, we'll hit it with a couple dashes of Angostura bitters for some baking spice notes and get back to blending. So we'll put the lid plug back in and dial back down to one, turn it back on. We'll slowly bring that up to about uh, three, three or four, and then we'll add the alcohol. So, finished product. This is a byproduct of the aerating container. Um, and the VP3 is great at this. Uh, the texture is fantastic. And anybody who's made eggnog before that's done it the traditional way, it's much more difficult to do and it's much more time intensive. So at this point, the eggnog is finished, but it's definitely something that comes together with a little bit of time. So at this point, what we do here is transfer it to a glass container. So we use mason jars. This one's been aging for a month. Glass container, as I mentioned. Uh, what we're gonna do now is add this to the standard container from Vitamix, and we're gonna make a, an eggnog milkshake with a little bit of foie gras ice cream. So the reason we use the aerating container to make the eggnog is it's a little bit more gentle with the introduction of the eggs and the sugar. Um, this one has a lot more power but it's perfect for combining a solid ingredient with a wet ingredient. So the eggnog and the ice cream basically being brought together, the wet blade is, is perfect for that. I'm gonna add about a cup and a half. Lid goes back on. Um, we'll bring this all the way back down to one. Blend it up, it takes 10, 15 seconds. Actually not even. And we're basically good to pour. As you can see, uh, we have a really beautiful, silky smooth, milkshake-like texture. The milkshake is finished. We're gonna to top this with a little bit of whipped cream. Um, we're gonna start with one cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna add this and about two ounces of just a one-to-one -one simple syrup to the aerating container. 10, 15 seconds later, we'll have really beautiful, um, rich, thick whipped cream. This is absolutely the best part of this thing. You'll actually notice the texture changes pretty dramatically 12 to 15 seconds in, and it becomes this very, very rich, very thick whipped cream. And what this allows us to do is spoon it over things like Irish coffee, I think is probably what we do most often with it. We actually keep this tucked down behind the bar and can do this with guests at the bar, and they don't have any idea what we're doing because the aerating container in particular is so quiet. Okay, so traditional 
finish or garnish for eggnog is a little fresh grated nutmeg. So that's how we'll finish here. Um, just a little bit freshly grated over the top. And that is our eggnog milkshake made with the help of the Vitamix Vitaprep 3.